Just a gorgeous fall afternoon in the heart of Texas. No weather to speak of. Sun out, roof open. Yes, yes, and yes. A great day for football at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Today, we've got a matchup here in pivotal week seven between the Detroit Lions and the Dallas Cowboys. Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL season, week seven is underway on EA Sports. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. He was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue, just make sure you feed me the football? And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to them. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Here's Pollard again. And he'll manage only a couple here up to the 25. Well, this defense, very strong in that victory from a week ago. It was a little bit enlightening talking with the defense coordinator about their performance last week because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. They did what they needed to do to get the job done and get the win, but definitely a few lapses that they're looking to correct. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. 26, Mike, 26, Mike. Watch the screen. Here we go, 46, 46. 26, Mike, 26, Mike. You must be dreaming. 26, Mike, 26. Prescott off play action. He rifles one that's intercepted. are going to take the feed off of mistakes like this and now it's a prime opportunity just moments in the game to get a short field touchdown off of their big defensive play now on the other side they were already the underdog in this one they just made their uphill battle just a little bit tougher on first and ten it's swift and he'll get about four there as he takes it from the ten down to the six He's hit pay dirt a lot this year, but not that time. Yeah, I'm tracking right there with you. You're exactly right. He's found the end zone plenty of times. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may not have scored there, but of course you're going to give it to him. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Off play action. Here's Goff. And he's got his man. It's caught for a lion touchdown. Amon Ross St. Brown, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Lions use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. The kick is good. 
Rosas good with the extra point, and that makes the score seven nothing. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. For most people, the excitement of a kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder in the ball carrier, and down he goes. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those play. Oh, wide open, complete. Touchdown, Cowboys. We are in for six. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This one taken just inside the 10. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. offense ready to kick off their next drive and you figure this should be a healthy arrested a focused unit and they're working on a good winning streak they had the week off last week this is what there he goes right side and in for the Lions touchdown Jamison Williams 69 yards and the Lions have taken the lead Rosas now to add the PAT It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last... He's got a man complete! And the Cowboys are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Lions. 
Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Charles, this offense, they've been on a roll. Two drives ago, they scored. Remember, last drive was that one play touchdown strike, so now they're looking to make it three for three. You know, I talked to a Hall of Famer one time about, hey, when you're on defense and these types of things are happening to you, what goes through your mind? And he told me at that point, it's not about schemes. It's not about what's called from the sideline. It's about players. Who's going to make a play, make a stand, and stop this offense from doing what they've been doing? And he's going to be taken down. Goff is sacked. Jabril Cox able to drop him for a loss of a couple. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. Here's Goff. Now that'll be caught by St. Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? Go off a handoff here to Swift. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. So, Charles, you look at this offense. So what a start to the season. Five wins without a loss. When do you think that you start believing that maybe you're in the midst of something special? Well, you and I both know every head coach never wants that thought to creep into a locker room. But the truth of the matter is, not quite at this time, because if we look at the Steelers in 2020, they're a great example. Remember, they started 11-0, then lost 5 of 6 and went out in the first round. But I think if you get toward mid-November, the thing, that's when things start to get real for a ball club. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Play action, it's gone. It's Williams on the catch. And he is gonna have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Did you see that route the way that I did? I yep. thought he was trying to get deep. Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not to, it came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. Back to the running game with Swift. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Once again, it's Swift. And he'll get it down on the plane to the 37. Pretty entertaining start. 14 all to score on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They will run straight ahead with Swift. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. On second down, Swift gets past one man. That's some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions at a first down. But well, they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. Look, 
Here's a toss play right to Swift. And a couple of young. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. And they go play action here. Mod. Throw to St. Brown, complete on the left side. And the Lions are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Mon now off of play action. And he's just going to throw this one out of bounds here. Nowhere to go with it. Incomplete. This is where good coaching and execution come into play because down this close, you absolutely don't want to turn it over. Good job keeping that in mind as he escaped, bought time, and decided throwing it away was his best option. three red zone trips so far they've come up empty on they'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal they'll run with a backup this is Williams and he's brought down right at the five yard line give him two on the play defensively I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here brings up third and I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys what do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. Now Goff on third and goal. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. DeAndre Swift, a five-yard touchdown as they have taken the lead. PAT up and good by Rosas. And the lead is now 21-14. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's going to get this across the 20 as he's out of bounds at the 23. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Off the play fake, Prescott. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. And that's caught inside the 35. A big play here for Dallas. 41 yards. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. What a difference a play makes. A huge step forward and now a small step back as he loses a yard or two.
play fake. Here's Prescott. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 23. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. Just a yard on the pick up there and it'll bring up a second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Prescott to throw this time. A quick throw knocked away, it's incomplete. I think the defenders have to feel pretty good, even though the ball was tipped in the air and could have become a big play for the offense. They actually won one because the guy flinging it today, he's having quite the performance. A couple of touchdown passes, almost threw his first interception, but he's throwing it so well, I think Lady Luck was on his side. On third down, it's Prescott. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage, too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. The kick by Marr is good. Points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. offense ready to kick off their next drive and with a little under a minute to go still time to try to put a drive together to add to their lead should they so choose on first down gone flushed out right that's complete to DeAndre Swift out of the backfield and he will go out of bounds down at the 15 yard line a big play yeah, there just yeah, before halftime. 52 yards. The offense has to love that because that was just a dump down, and then he turned something out of seemingly nothing. And the best quarterbacks understand that dumping it down is often a good play, a better play than even what was drawn up. And they'll send the slot in motion left. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And it's caught. And in for the Lions. Touchdown. Jamison Williams with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Lions will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Rosas good with the extra point. And that pushes the lead up to 11. The kickoff unit is out on the field. And they will send this one away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field. Oh, Prescott stripped. And the offense will cover this one up, but they'll be pushed back inside their own 10. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. So they keep the football, but now face second and long. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. 
And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. Prescott now. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Here's Brian Anger now. As his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Golf. Flush to his right. And he'll just get rid of it. Oh, I saw this one with defensive eyes because even as he escaped the pocket and bought time, the coverage stayed tight. Nothing broke down. Throwing it away, that was his only option. And now a timeout defensively after that first down play. So they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. It'll be a 49-yard attempt from the left hash. Rosa's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we have reached halftime with the visiting Lions taking the lead to the break. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. in the lead and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway. A fairly short kick from the 14 and they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. 
Third quarter starts with a run from Swift. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it was just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he'll fight for a couple as the tackle is made at about the 32. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Mond out of the shotgun. Yeah, that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So good coverage there defensively as it looks like they'll force a punt on this opening drive of the third. Well, let's coach them up a little bit from right here in the booth. That's exactly what they needed to do. They need to start stringing together some stops, turning the ball over back to their offense, and trying to get back into this game. Yeah, a couple scores down, but they can eat into that quickly with a nice drive here on the other side. The Cowboys take over for The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 12-yard line. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. I think it's pretty evident we can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they've stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. So a five-yard run the other way in the wrong direction, and that leads us to second and 15. 26 minutes, 26 minutes, 47. To throw is Prescott. Pass to Tony Pollard out of the backfield. And down he'll go at the 25. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And yeah, they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he will have a Cowboys first down. At least it appears that way. And he got it by maybe the length of a football. And how about that on third down? So many different directions an offense can go. Throw it out wide to the receivers, get it to their speedy running back. They changed up everything and handed it to the fullback, and he surprised them all and picked up a first down. Now a first carry for their fullback. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Good solid gain on first down, about what you'd expect from the big guy carrying the ball. Second down, it's Pollard. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. A couple of first downs have him to the 40 now on first and 10. Going to run again here with Pollard. And some room to maneuver. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That one good for 37 yards. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. 
With a tackle there by Malcolm Rodriguez. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. A first carry now for Kofrani Muhammad. Well, still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Well, if you're going to have a relay race, you're probably going to pick your backs and receivers to run it, but don't underestimate the conditioning of the offensive line. They're out there just dictating things, staying on the field, and keeping a long drive going. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. They'll pitch this out to Pollard. And he'll take it into the end zone on the year. And the Cowboys are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And their lead cut in half by that touchdown a moment ago. They are up seven as they begin this drive first and ten. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Right back to Swift again on second down. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. 52 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. They'll run right here with Swift. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Brandon, sometimes it just comes down to the power of suggestion, because I know exactly what they said all week long. We're coming off the open week. We'll have the fresher legs in the fourth quarter, and they will wilt when we get to that point. And right now, it appears that they're thinking that exact thing. Yeah, offensively, they had the bye last week. Defensively, did not. Is that really a big factor? Is that more talk during the week? I think the more that you talk about it, the more that you emphasize it, the more sometimes it comes true for your team. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. He's got his man. It's caught for a lion touchdown. D.J. Chark from 17 yards out. And the Lions add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys' offense. Eluding the pressure right. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. On play action, Prescott. 
And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. Well, they approach this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Play action now, Prescott. Swinging this out for Pollard. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Cowboy first down. Prescott yet again. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Cowboys. The boys have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this. I know you are, too. We got a ball game again after that big-time strike. Big-time strike, and you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Very short kick, taken right at the 20. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. offense ready to kick off their next drive after the touchdown we just saw we have a brand new ball game and now look at the situation you got plenty of time on the clock defensively they have three timeouts so do you run the football here or do you throw it i think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit and you tell them here's the situation they've got all their timeouts so we are not going to play this conservatively we've got to attack them we've got to make them use those gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you've got another thing coming. Yeah, I mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Off the play fake. Mon. And this is taken in at the five. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. Jamison Williams with touchdown number three here in this game and 17 now on the year. And the Lions look like they're going to be moving to 6-0 and as they extend that lead even further. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. With the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Here's Pollard again. And he is going to lose yardage here. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes, if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. 
Here's Prescott. On the move to his left. He's going to let it fly. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked by Tracy Walker. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Rolling to his right. Launches deep. A jump ball, and this is caught. That one good for 37 yards. That's evidence of why you spend a high draft pick on a receiver, isn't it, Charles? It certainly is. His ability to make plays like that, and we've seen flashes of it from him so far in his rookie season. But also, it opens things up for the rest of the offense because they have to bring their attention to him as well. On first down, here's Mon. He'll buy some time right. Finding Williams once more, complete. And the Lions are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves him all the way down to the one. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, you just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Here's Swift, that one on second and goal. One more time with Swift. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. DeAndre Swift with touchdown number two in the game and now 11 on the year. And the Lions tack on another score as they have dominated this fourth quarter. PAT up and good by Rosas. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. That is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Cowboys! C.D. Lamb, 85 yards. And the Cowboys have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. You've got to understand situational football because they're playing with the lead here late in the ball game. So the back defender has got to be as deep as the deepest receiver. Keep everything in front of you, rally up and make the play. Yeah, you would think they had the three-score lead. Now it's down to two, but three-score lead here late. But they wouldn't give up a big pass play like that, but they did. And this one travels out of bounds. So unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. First and ten, here's Mond. Forced out to his left. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on all those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. 
so for Detroit, they remain as hot as anyone, 6-0 and now through the first month and a half. And they'll return home next week to take on the Miami Dolphins. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, they suffer their fourth loss so far. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves next week at home against the Chicago Bears. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.